The crypto world heaved a sigh of relief with President Biden's new executive order on the industry. Those positive feelings, however, are misplaced. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. For months, the digital asset industry has been on tenterhooks as the Biden administration prepared an executive order on how the government would deal with the explosive growth of crypto assets. In five years, the total market cap has grown 300-fold to over $3 trillion. Crypto enthusiasts feared Washington would take a regulatory sledgehammer to the industry. Instead, the order seems to provide sensible frameworks for dealing with this phenomenon. Many industry participants recognize that regulations of some sort are coming and were thus delighted that Uncle Sam would be taking a reasonable, responsible approach. Alas, despite soothing words about the desire to, quote, reinforce United States leadership in the global financial system and in technological and economic competitiveness, end quote, the order's implicit assumption is that this won't happen unless the whole federal government is involved in overseeing things. The impression given, in fact, is that the new crypto world is fraught with serious risks rather than brimming with opportunities. Human nature being what it is, government regulators will take a jaundiced eye to the unfamiliar. Just look at the government agencies President Biden's decree says will play roles one way or the other. The SEC, the Federal Reserve, the FTC, the EPA, the White House Domestic Policy Council, the Council of Economic Advisors, the Commerce Department, the Energy Department, the Treasury Department, the Labor Department, the Office of the Attorney General, the State Department, the Defense Department, the Office of Management Budget, and on and on. Countless government committees and study groups are toxic for exciting breakthroughs. Would the automobile industry and the Internet develop the way it did if Washington played a similar role it wants to do with crypto? Creativity is messy and unpredictable. Failure is common. Blunders abound. Development and progress are never risk-free. Fraudsters and charlatans are always around, whether in existing areas of endeavor or new ones. One idea in the order that should be kiboshed is the Federal Reserve and the Treasury Department creating a central bank digital currency. You can kiss any vestige of financial privacy goodbye with that one. Government could easily track everything you spend. Economic regulators would try to manage the economy by giving orders as to the desired level of spending and investing at once and make sure you're doing what they want you to do. To that end, they could put expiration dates on currencies. You know, some governments would try that. The executive order also gives itself away on the mortal threat it sees in stable coins, which will evolve into alternatives to government currencies. Quote, sovereign money is at the core of a well-functioning financial system macroeconomic stabilization policies, and economic growth, end quote. This order is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Big political and regulatory battles are coming. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. (music) 